Great here with a Hellcat Reap. Whoa, hey, don't move there. A Hellcat replay on Prov. This is actually from the 8-7 server. Um, I'm not done with my 8-6 replays yet, but I wanted to bring this match in because it highlights uh, a really good decision that I made early on. Um, my Hellcat, I haven't finished grinding it out yet. This is still the 75mm gun, so a uh, heavy tier 8 match is not a great matchup for this. Actually, it's not too heavy. It's uh, a good split there. Anyway, it's not a great matchup. I'm about a thousand XP away from unlocking the 90 millimeter gun on this Hellcat. Now I noticed early on that we do not have any scouts and neither do the enemy team. So I decided in this match, instead of trying to uh, play the typical TD role, I was actually just going to scout and uh, and not fire unless I absolutely needed to or I knew I was perfectly safe. So we've already taken out an enemy Hellcat and our VK3601 is bravely going forward on the uh, the two line so as he's pushing forward, oh there we go, as he's pushing forward I decided to move forward. He highlights that KV-1S and I stop below the ridge line so he doesn't get a spot on me at all. And I'm just waiting for this KV-1S to get killed and there he goes our VK dies, so I move forward to this great spot on the EF line. The bushes here provide excellent cover no matter which side that you're on. So I get in there and immediately spot the T-150 coming across. And I call for shots on the T-150 and my team, who's back on the D line, are all too happy to oblige. Notice the T-150 is not firing back at all. He has no clue where he's being hit from. There my Binox come up, so I pick up the T-150 again, also the uh, M4 off to the side, and it looks like a VK-3601 as well. Now I could have taken shots here, but doing so would have revealed my position, so I figured it was just better to hang tight, let my team do their thing, and uh, just spot for them. And here I'm just calling on different targets, mainly to try to concentrate the fire of my team back there. Back there on the D-line. Now I'm not sure if I got the spot on this uh, Egg Tiger. Might have been the T-3045 in the middle. But I figure we should focus on him. Now we've lost our second tank of the match. It was a Jackson that actually went over up on the hill over on the zero line. With that Yag Tiger down, move back over and highlight the Panther. The M4 gets spotted. And right about here I notice that the enemy team is getting pretty thin. So I figure I'm safe to actually open up now and help out by uh, with direct damage. So that takes out the the M4 and what was what was that other one? I've forgotten already. The Panther. I know the ISU's on the other side, uh, other side of the map. There he gets highlighted by our Western force. So all I have to worry about is this Type 58. And of course, he's sitting way in the back, and he's looking entirely the wrong direction. So I get the spots on him, as well as uh, some direct shots. Or it might have been the T-3045 getting the spot on him. Now I know I said I wouldn't do stats from this point on, but this match I absolutely had to grab at least this screen. As you can see, four shots out, four hit for a total of 461 damage, obviously with that... Uh, 75 millimeter. I wasn't going to do a lot of damage, but look at that 2,600 uh, damage upon detection. So that's actually uh, 5,200 damage done to the enemy team. All because I decided instead of playing a TD, I was just going to play a scout, play it cool, and uh, let my teammates do their work. Pretty much every tank in uh, 
on the screen was destroyed thanks to my spots. It was a beautiful round, and it netted me 1,400 uh, experience. And like I said, I was about 1,000 from my 90 millimeter gun. So right after this, I was able to pick up that gun. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at this replay and seeing what you can do if you just uh, not get fixated on one roll. Have fun.